laughing crying because like this, this is like a once in a lifetime like this is not gonna happen again for a very very long time <laughs> How do I describe such a crazy, random experience? This past winter, I had the opportunity to visit every single country at Expo 2020 Dubai. For the first few months of 2022, I had the opportunity to work as Youth Ambassador at Expo 2020 Dubai at the USA Pavilion. And it often consisted of this. Welcome to the very last exhibit of the United States Pavilion. My name is Laura. Right here we have a um, moon stone. This is the first time that NASA is allowing us to display the moon at an expo. Here is an asteroid that landed in Antarctica and it was determined to be of Martian origin after comparing it to samples from the Mars rover. On this screen here you can learn a little bit more about my home state of Minnesota. So where are you girls from? Chaska. Le Sueur, but I went to high school in White Bear Lake. You know, go Bears. We're just submitting a bid to host an expo in 2027. In the center of the room here, we have a copy of the Mars rover named Opportunity. This was the very first rover that we sent to Mars. This is also the rover that discovered evidence of water. So very, very cool, very cool. Thank you for visiting the USA Pavilion. My name is Laura. Let me know if you have any questions. I went from zero to 60 after being in isolation and limiting my interactions with people as much as possible to being at the world's largest event surrounded by every nationality. It was jolting yet exciting. It was futuristic and otherworldly. I never once imagined that I'd ever live in Dubai. I feel like words can't describe the strange things and surprises and sense of awe I encountered on a daily basis. A Wassel Dome, the world's largest projection screen, captured and pushed my imagination basically every single day when I saw it. It felt like I was actually living in some alternate futuristic reality or acting out a Star Wars movie or something. The colors and the music and the soundscapes. I mean, I really felt inspired by all of the artists who contributed to all the projects, all of the design, even the strange ones. And then bah. I had the opportunity to explore the UAE more broadly. Like I said before, I never thought I'd live in the UAE. I just never imagined it. I was able to see all seven Emirates and meet people from countries that I didn't often think about. Being there and interacting with so many different backgrounds, being exposed to things I'd never seen before definitely pushed the limits of my imagination. As cheesy as it sounds, it was all a learning experience. There was the food. So much bread. I love, 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 love Middle Eastern bread and cheese, and I will never forget the food. Try and kanafa. Cheese. Cheese. Mm. We should put more cheese and desserts in our American. I could do that. <laughs> This would be very popular as an American staple. It's very good. Then there's the people I met. All of the other youth ambassadors have left such a special place in my heart. There were times I felt lonely. I was away from my loved ones, from my home, in such a foreign place. But I quickly realized how when you meet people who feel like Family. you've known forever, Family. that feeling could be results. The pin trading, the late night chats, the traveling, the cooking, the friendship, I'll always cherish it. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just checking my bank account to see how much I spent here. <laughs> it's a lot. This is an expensive city. We will, we will say that. And after three months... On the very last day!
That's a wrap.